Oh my gosh, she answered! Oh, hi! <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my gosh, she's here! Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna pretend I'm a normal person. Um, okay. Alright, okay. Uh, bruh, okay, there. Hello. I am good so- Good evening, or good morning? It's 1.41am for the both of us! Ah! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I don't know. It's like, I want to say it was good, and I apologize to the three people who are going to listen to this, which is going to be me and Rose and some random hater. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I think I broke... Oh my gosh. You see how dumb I am? Like, I'm still adjusting Rose's volume, and I'm still adjusting my volume. So me and Rose uh -huh. and the random hater are going to suffer listening to the first 10 seconds. Woo! Okay. It's okay. So, to the three people who are going to listen to this, uh, which is going to be me, Rose, and a random hitter, hi! This is going to be Banana Gaming Podcast Episode 4, and I love it! It's so good! But I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to quickly ask Rose what she did today, and then I'm going to talk about something that's really bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rose, what, okay. what did you do today? <laughs> okay. First of all, it's been a while since we talked, so yes. hey. Hey. Uh, hey. A lot has happened, I think, for the both of us. True, yes. absolutely. Yeah. It's been like, oh, when did we last talk? December? Uh, November? The, uh, according to our... I can't even say the word discord according to discord um according to discord february oh. but i don't count that because that was just yeah, dm i don't yeah uh, i don't okay attention audience i'm gonna lower the volume for both me and rose slowly okay here we go just very slowly a little bit okay there yeah rose what did you do today <laughs> i actually didn't do anything that much today i I'm tracking my order from Lazada. Yes. Which is very frustrating because it keeps saying that my order doesn't exist. Gaslighters. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, speaking of gaslighter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I told you about the guy that I blackmailed. Let's go! Let's go! Me and Rose are in a very, very um, uh, angry, edgy, resentful moods at this time. We are the nicest yeah. people on earth, but we are currently in very resentful moods. Go ahead. Actually, Rose. after hearing what I have to say, like what I did to this guy, I don't think you'll think of me as the nicest person in the world. You know what I think? Like, in my humble opinion, the nicest people, the ones who are calm most of the time, those are the people who you you really cross the line. Um, yeah. We don't. Oh yeah, we, hell yeah! This we, guy crossed the line. No, because that's the thing. You cross the line. We don't. We don't go around stuff. We go straight to what the issue is here. Anyway, go ahead, Rose. Yeah. Like okay, will you ask me what I did today? Like I woke up mm -hmm. and then like I was you know mm -hmm. just doing some stuff and then mm -hmm. I think I can count blackmailing it was a lot today a lot okay. of blackmailing today okay but it wasn't that much as it was yesterday okay so it it, it was a, a progression of an already existing um, already started kind of thing that you were already doing okay yeah All right. like I th I've been blackmailing this guy for like two days now. All right, let's go. It's been fun, actually. It's been so fun. So like, let me just give you like a breakdown of uh -huh. what this guy did okay. for the reason why I blackmail him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we mm -hmm. were friends before, and I was friends with his girlfriend before. I see. And we are still friends, okay? We are still friends. Everyone's still friends with everybody. And then okay. I found out a couple of days ago that, like, they broke up. And then I asked the girl, okay, like, mm -hmm. what happened? And, like, basically to run down things. And, like, mm -hmm. mind you, this was, like, at 1 in the morning. Okay. And, like, I got so much tea at, like, 1 in the morning. And, like, uh -huh. I don't know, it was fire. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways, I'll just give you like a summary because yeah. it's so fucking long. TLDR, basically, for now. Yeah. 
yeah what happened is he cheated on the girl with a guy oh I, mm. like i don't know if you can call it cheating i call it cheating everybody that i've talked to calls it cheating but i don't know if like some people would argue that it's not cheating so basically he's like <clears throat> talking a lot of <clears throat> sexual stuff in text with this guy and like setting uh, up a time and a date okay. of when they're gonna do it okay all right but they never actually did it mm-hmm. i hope i don't know i'm not sure but okay. yeah that's what yeah and then like mm-hmm. this guy is actually a sociopath Yee, ugh, ugh, sorry. yeah I'm... like i'm not joking like he actually like while i was blackmailing him he doesn't feel any remorse at all for what he did pausing row is pausing row is doesn't feel yes. any remorse for what he did we'll go back to that dear audience uh heads up Rose and me may get slightly NSFW occasionally, not all the time, you may or may not be triggered. Thank you for listening to that disclaimer. Going back, he feels no remorse. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like, he's a sociopath, dude, like, I don't know, he's like, actually psychotic, like, he messaged Uh the girl, like, wait, oh my god, if I find the message, I would like, fucking read it to you right fucking now, so that, like, you would, like, you'd actually see how psychopathic this guy is like wait give me a second talk about something while i find this thing oh my gosh how long is it gonna okay okay i'll talk about something minor because i'll save i'll save it for my turn because rose and me i don't know if you want to call it i don't know what people these days would call it they might call it beef they might call it whatever you want to call it i have my own for now while rose is pulling up her tea while rose oh i found it okay go Oh, okay, okay. Is it okay? If you want to, if you want to. Okay, let me quote him on this, okay? He said, Uh, Look, I like tormenting people, like playing them like puppets, because I know they can't do anything about it. It's a guilty pleasure, especially when I don't know the person. That's what he said. I I don't... I, I, I have no words. I have... I respectfully, politely have no words. Okay. Yeah, like, he's crazy, actually. And, like, I've been, like, blackmailing him and, like, scaring him and stuff. Like, I scared him, basically, to leak, like, those sexual messages to his parents and stuff. What and, the like, heck, bruh? Okay, okay. Why? No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not the, it's just, it's just I haven't spoken to you for a hot, hot, hot minute. And we have been doing so many things and... Yeah. Stuff and this is the this is the thing I get, which is quite juicy, but strangely disturbing. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little yeah. bit, just a little bit. Anyways, I'll stop talking about that right now because yeah, that's basically the gist of things. Like, okay. yeah, and like I don't know, me and the friend, his ex girlfriend, like oh, no. we've been having a lot of fun, you know, messing I, with this guy. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. I sound yeah. Do you want to tell us more, or is it my turn to talk about shit? Oh no, you can talk. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this more later, but let me quickly acknowledge that to the three people who will listen to this podcast, which is me, Rose, and a random hater. <laughs> um, um, okay. okay. That's the. <clears throat> it's so hard for me nowadays. I just want to acknowledge this, and then I'll go to the thing that's really bothering me. There's a lot of things bothering me, obviously, but. It's hard for me to go on Discord. It's painful. Like, I go on Discord and I don't know if other people feel this way. I'll make this quick and then I'll move on. It's hard for me to go on Discord, see all of the people saying whatever about whoever, whatever they're doing in life. Like, I I will confess. This is a confession. And I'm not proud of it, but I want to tell the truth. Right now, I have, I think, I think, like, 39 unread DMs from people. Some of them may be good people. Some of them may be trolls or random haters who have nothing to do with their lives apart from drugs. And yeah, you know? But that's it. That's my confession. Opening Discord is hard for me. Okay, moving on. I'm going to talk to Rose about... I'm going to talk to Rose in the audience about something that's making me angry. Rose, is that an electric fan? I think it's hitting your mic. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Like, I, I understand. Because when I record shit, my electric fan hits my mic too. So I'm not better. I'm just pointing it out that it's hitting the mic. Okay, I don't hear it's it okay. anymore. We're good now. Okay. 
sorry. I was gonna tell you a while ago to like tell me if you hear anything, but then like I was like, mm, probably not. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, bro. We pissed off the one random hater. The, the random hater is like, <laughs> I can't even like, I can't even quench my my, I can't get my haterade, bro. There's like an electric fan. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> mm. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I am coherent. So earlier today, I was supposed to record a podcast with a friend of mine. Um, yeah, she had to do something else, and something happened after that. Nothing to do with her. I live in a place right now where, and I'm gonna be vague because I don't believe in directly attacking people. Not, not, not in the very low vibration way, but I may or may not live in a place where there may or may not be people living very nearby me who, to make it clear, I've been living here for more than a year, way more than a year. So I have a pretty decent relationship with the landlady. And I know this is so boring to the audience, but I got to talk about it. I got to acknowledge it on a platform where it's recorded and it's public if people want to listen to it. I have been losing my mind uh, since this change in setup where, you know, other people may or may not have started living nearby. I was going to talk about this with my other friend who I was going to do the other podcast with, but Rose is here. She's there for me when someone has to do shit. Um, I'm the backup or stunt double, if you could say. She's, she's a mind reader. Anyway, okay. So... <laughs> Ever since, you know, certain people may or may not have started, like, um, living nearby me, aka, like, you know, maybe housemates or whatever, it's just been quite a challenge, because given my work schedule, I'm not even home that much. I'm not. And given all of the other things I do in addition to work, I'm not here at all, but when I am, let me tell you, um... <laughs> let me just share my experience. Again, this is not intended as an insult toward anybody i'm just sharing my experience i go home and this has happened multiple times and the only toilet the only toilet shared by like xyz number of people on the floor where i'm renting a a room it's just a room like it's clogged and it's clogged and when i say it's filthy i mean there is i'm sorry to the audience there is poop in it there's freaking poop in it okay and this has happened multiple times, and I, I, I'm just sharing my experience. I have been the one who, you know, like, okay, I'm gonna be a functional, responsible adult. I'm gonna unclog this shit, okay, and I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna flush it, okay. Ew. Ew. Exactly. So they don't even unclog their own shit I don't, out of the toilet. I don't get it either. And again, none of this is intended to insult Can't you anybody. Can you complain to the landlord or something? I have. I have. I will get to that later. I, I, I I've sent. I will get to that later. I have. Thank you, Rose. I love you. Platonically. I'm gay. Okay, let's move on. Oh, frick. So, it would have been... Imagine how I felt the first time. Imagine how I felt the second time. Imagine how I felt the third time and every time after that. Imagine how I felt, yeah? And that's not the only thing. No. Um, it's not a secret that I'm a dog person. I love dogs. I also love cats, but not as much. Partly because I have a mild allergy uh, from from them. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. But I remember the day I got like the blood test, like what are you allergic to? So cats are on that list. Not, not in a bad way, not like I'll die, but per the doctor, I gotta avoid them. Now get this, in addition to all of like that toilet drama, I, I want to call it drama, but that just makes it cr me cry because it's not even drama. It's just like it's mental health draining. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, so again, I've been living here for more than a year. If I remember correctly, the, the, the day that these, you know, certain people, I'm not saying they're evil, I'm just sharing my experience, I'm, you know, I'm not saying this to insult people. Like, I think the day they moved in, I'm pretty sure, if, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, there were like four cats in a cage. I repeat, in a cage, and, and the cage stays still, and it's in the living room, which is adjacent. I repeat, adjacent to my room. My room does not have a window to the outside. It has a small window to the living room. So there were four cats in a cage, in a small living room, near a toilet that may or may not be clogged with poop. These cats poop 
and of course cats poop. That's okay. That's not a crime. My point is sometimes when they poop, I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't think they have the decency to like clean it immediately. So again, I'm not even here a lot because of my work schedule, but when I am here, it smells like shit human shit and cat shit and nowadays there's normally just like one or two cats i'm not sure anymore how that goes because like i just avoid that thing but in my humble opinion the fact that they're in cages i'm not an expert that just bothers me slightly not saying it's a crime not saying it's a crime but it has been so <sighs> so imagine how i felt after all of those things right um it's also a bit this is kind of funny because even the place I lived before when I'm recording a podcast, when I'm recording a song, you know, you have dogs barking, cats meowing in the background. Like, I could live with that. But now take that. Take take whatever noises you have, whether it be... Whether it be X, it be Y, it be Z. Because I, let me tell you, the random noises I hear are not always the same kind. That's all I'm saying. Um, I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. Okay, so when I'm writing a song or I'm trying to record something, it's it can be challenging. Um, it, I can breathe. I can still breathe. But yeah, and another thing that got me, and I want to share, again, I'm not saying this to insult anybody, this is just my experience. Uh, when I came home from work, like, uh, like I want to say a week ago, Rose, are you still there? I just want to check if you're alive. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just I, thinking about how disgusting these people are. I know! Okay, I love you, Rose, platonically. I'm gay. Dear audience, I'm gay. Okay, alright, so. Happy Pride! Yeah, Happy Pride, audience! I'm sorry, let me throw happy that Pride out Happy Pride Month! Actually, we can say Happy Pride Month to the guy I just blackmailed! I, uh, let's, okay, let's look at that later. So, going back to, like, I think it was around a week ago, um, it was my lunch break. I, I had to go home and quickly write an email to someone. I had to make a payment to someone. I didn't want to, I, I rarely do that on my phone. So I went home where I have Wi-Fi. I got on my laptop and like every now, you know, sometimes I'll leave my door open if I feel like it. <laughs> so I was writing this email. I made this payment and then I, I got up to use the restroom. <laughs> Um, so on that particular day, I was quite grateful because on that particular day, uh, the toilet wasn't clogged with poop in it. So that's, that's not a bad thing. But when I opened the, the door to like the restroom, so like one of the cats, one of the cats was like in there. When I turned on the light, it was in there and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was doing. It was like climbing up like into, there, there's like there's like a bucket of water thing in there like it was climbing up onto it and I was like I'm not gonna touch you not because I'm you know mildly allergic just because I don't know who owns you and it's like I I'm just gonna politely wait for you to like leave the restroom even though I really gotta go and it's my lunch break and I gotta go back to work right so like I kind of just stood there and okay I say this politely um, the, 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 the new, you know, the people who may or may not be, uh, new housemates who may or may not, they own the cats. Okay. Like, they were, like, directly outside of the restroom. I, I, I believe, uh, they were playing, like, a video game on their phone. I, I, I believe that's what it was. As a matter of fact, I think it was Mobile Legends. That's a thing here. Anyway. So, like, I kind of stood there for what to me felt like 10 minutes thinking, are they gonna get their, like, cat out of the restroom? Is that, like, a thing they're, you know, planning on doing? After, like, after what felt like 10 minutes, the cat on its own, like, stopped doing its thing and it went out and I was like, okay, great. So I used the restroom, which, by the way, after I used the restroom, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I try to you know, maybe everyone's different, but I, I try to flush the toilet. And then when I went back to my room, remember how I said sometimes I leave the door open? I went back to my room, I closed the door, I made sure the payment went through, I checked if there was anything else I had to pay, like a bill, etc, etc. After like five minutes, so I went back in my room, right, and I closed the door. After like five minutes, the same cat it emerged inside of my room. It was like under this, I think you call it an armoire? like a closet thing, like a whatever, right? 
wardrobe, whatever. It, like, emerged from under the wardrobe, and it, like, casually stalked its way toward the door, and it started meowing at the door, and I was like, so you mean, in my head, I was like, so you mean to tell me, like, these people who own the cat were, like, right there, and did they just watch it go inside my room? And I can guarantee you, my room smelled after it left. I'm not saying, I'm certainly not saying, oh, I'm perfect, I'm neat all the time, I'm so organized all the time, I clean everything all the time, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is, what I am saying is what I just told you, and the fact that it stinked after it, it left my room. Now, it doesn't stop there! There's this other thing! There's like a million other things. And I'll repeat myself a million times over, this is not intended to be mean or to insult anyone, it's just my experience. Phew, uh, and then I'll be done, and then we can go back to Rose. Um, <laughs> me personally, me personally, and I'm not gonna drop any names, I'm not gonna go that far, because that's just, you know, that's just bad karma, as I always love to say, you know, karma is the breeze on my hair on a weekend. I'm kidding. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I know, right? I love the Taylor Swift reference. I, you know, before I got my uh, before I got my new job, I sang that song like 5 times a day minimum. Sometimes I would sing it like 40 times a day. Anyway, let's move on. Um So me personally, everyone's different. Me personally, um when I when I go to the restroom and I poop because everyone's got to poop sometimes. That's okay. Um I like I like to make sure that the door is locked. That's me personally. Now, I respect that everyone's I different. I think that's everyone. I thought so too. That's what I thought until I had my other experience among the millions of experiences, which and and just for the fact that just for the fact that this is recorded and people like, you know, may listen, I, again, I'll repeat myself a million times over not intended to be mean or critical and and here's the other thing. Um <clears throat> I, I, I'm sorry, I just remembered what I saw, so now I don't even remember what I was going to say because I remembered what I saw. Um, okay, um, so one day I, I had to go use the restroom. Um, again, I've been living here for way more than a year, um, and I, you know, when I turned the knob, it opened, and a an individual was uh, sitting on the toilet. Um, I, again, I'm not. I'm not about like you know name dropping or like proactively shaming people for no reason. <laughs> That's just my experience. But it, it bothered me quite much, and I, it bothered me a, a bit. It bothered me a lot actually. Um, and then you know I quickly shut the door and like turned and like walked away, went back into my room, and I was like, okay, what did I literally just see? What did I just see? And let me add this other detail without any name dropping or proactively shaming people. The way that the individual was sitting on the toilet was so un in my humble opinion, so unconventional, which only bothered me even more. <clears throat> so imagine how I felt after all of these things. And to answer what Rose was asking me, <sighs> yes, I, I have brought it up a number of times. And again, it's it's so hard for me because I'm like, now I remember what I was gonna say. The second thing, I remember it now, everybody. What I was gonna say, in addition to, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to insult anybody, that's, because that's just bad karma. Um, I never wanted to say these things! I never wanted to have these experiences, but it's gotten to such a point where it's like, I was gonna do this podcast with my friend, I was gonna talk about this anyway. It so happened that she had to do things, and, you know, Rose's in my opinion, one of my really, really good close friends, even though we live on different islands in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I ended up talking about it with her on this, like, impromptu episode. Um, so, it's my, my, I know, I know, I know, right? It's just, I can't, it's not, oh, let me tell you another thing, because it, yeah, I have to do this. I have to do this. Let me tell you this other thing. Um, I believe uh, I believe that me and the previous tenant of um, you know the place where they're staying now and the other tenant as well because there's another one. They're both on opposite. You know, there's one on one side of my room, one on the other side. The other one is the living room. Whatever. Um, I I think that we have a you know a, a specific way of like locking the gate 
every it's like a, it's like an unspoken understood thing in my opinion that's what i was told like whenever you leave you gotta lock the gate you gotta lock it you know because it is metro manila an extremely populated place which may or may not always be that safe i i've kind of observed that these are individuals who don't always lock the gate and when they do lock the gate there are instances where it's like a i don't know what people call it in other places but i call it a padlock like it's hooked around the occasionally it's hooked around the wrong part of the gate and yes the padlock is locked but you didn't secure the gate you didn't like anybody could push it open that's that's some relatively minor thing compared to the other things i've talked about and then the other thing is when they do and i'm grateful for this partly great grateful for this is like when they do secure the gate correctly the way the padlock is like latched onto the thing where it's supposed to be is i want to say like upside down or the other way around so when it's because this happens because of my work schedule and the things i have to do occasionally i'll be coming home at like 2 a.m 3 a.m 4 a.m and because of the location sometimes i'm a bit vigilant like i'm like okay who's around me is anybody following me it is very dark and it is a place it is in fact a place that's known for stabbing, for mugging, and I'm not trying to be mean, or I'm just stating the reality of the situation. And then when I get my key, because of the way the gate works, and like I gotta put my hand inside of something, and like I gotta have my key in the right position, because of the way they lock the gate, it's a, a huge challenge to figure out, wait, how did they put it on? My key is not going in the right way, which... Uh, which gives me, like, I don't know how to say this, like, a minute or two of standing there with my bag or with my cell phone or with whatever I have from work, and I'm like, okay, it's really dark, there's a million possibilities that have happened, those things have happened here. Good luck to me while I try to unlock this gate at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So that's a thank you for listening. That is a fraction of what I have been experiencing lately. And again, I'll repeat myself a million times over. I never wanted to say these things, but it's gotten to such a horrible point where I'm like, okay, all right. Rose, can yes. you may talk about whatever, or we can talk about, I'm sorry, we can talk about, no, the, the audience will get so bored. I was like, we can talk about Karma by Taylor Swift. It's not a secret that I uninten- unintentionally kind of stopped following her after 1989, with the exception of Look What You Made Me Do, Call It What You Want, and Karma. Apart from that, I don't know. I know Rose knows it. Rose knows all of Midnight's and... Woodvale and folklore and everything. I don't anymore. But what do you want to talk about, Rose? Welcome to Banana Gaming <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> you can talk about anything. The podcast. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, true. We can. Oh, can we talk about this? I don't know. You might feel uncomfortable. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it's about vaping. Vaping. I am not uncomfortable with it. I have so okay. many workmates who vape if you want to talk about it go ahead our podcast okay. timer is at 29 minutes i don't care how long this goes but i'm because of like the uploading sh- stuff maybe 37 minutes but go ahead with vaping go ahead oh yeah sure uh, actually just a few days ago maybe two days ago i tried vaping for the first time okay yeah it felt Nasty as fuck. So I'm oh, not doing oh, that again. Dude, I had water in my mouth, and the oh. moment, and the moment you said nasty as fuck, I remembered all. I remembered some of the things I just talked about, yeah. and now there's like water on my laptop. Anyway. Um. <laughs> yeah, like now I know that I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, I saw my friend doing it, and, I, like, she was smoke, like, she yeah. was, like, there was smoke coming out, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Ah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's always been in my bucket list to try to vaping try. at least, like, once uh-huh. in my life. 
like I, okay just like knowing me yeah like you know me you know that <laughs> i'm the type of person to not ever get addicted in smoking or yes, vaping yes 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 like uh-huh. if anyone even just talks like a day with me you know how much like i hate those things and like uh-huh. like i will never do it in my whole entire life right. like i'll never do it like you know every day yes like daily but it's been always in my bucket list to try vaping mm-hmm. because like you only live once why not you know uh-huh. and <laughs> I know I'm not gonna get addicted to it, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh-huh. Then I tried it, and I knew that I'm never gonna do it again because it was so bad, dude. I probably did it wrong. Actually, I did do it wrong. My oh? friend, oh, my friend told me like to ex like exhale. Okay. Like inhale it first. Like uh-huh. I inhaled it, and then exhale. Like that's all she told me inhale and exhale so i was like mm. oh, okay so just like breathing i guess okay. i ex- i inhaled it okay. and then it went in my throat when i exhaled no smoke came out the fridge bro <laughs> oh mm, ouch the- so yeah there's probably like i don't know how many grams of nicotine <laughs> in my lungs right now because it never went out so oh, i don't know i don't Bruh. Okay. Well, you're not. But, you're probably not doing that again. You're probably not doing that again. Fuck no. Actually, I thought about doing it. I I actually can't see why if people can get addicted to it though, because uh, the taste of it is like something you crave more. Right. Like I can see why people <clears throat> get addicted to it. Mm. Not me though, but yeah. like I can see why people get addicted. Because when I did it, like I swore, like mm. only one. Mm-hmm. Like one hit, I'd only take one hit of it. Mm-hmm. But then when she told me I did it wrong, like I was G-G. like, another one couldn't hurt, you oh, know. Oh my god! And like okay. I tried to get the vape, and luckily she was like, no bitch, like you only you said you'd only do one hit, and yeah, you're not doing it again. But like it's like at that moment I was like, wait, but I really want to do it one more time, just like to do it properly, you know. Mm-hmm. So like there was the urge to do it again so i can see looking back at it i can see like how people can get fucked up after like how people can get like really into it you know Mm -hmm. they say vape is healthier like that's what i hear from people it's healthier than cigarettes actually my boyfriend Uh okay this is the thing about my boyfriend my boyfriend Mm -hmm. was like he was a former smoker like every day of his life he told me like every day he would like at least smoke like 10 10 pieces of or like whatever you call those cigarettes right 10 sticks of cigarettes like every single day like he'd always have a pack with him everywhere he go and then like he like my boyfriend does some like like did the most like intense shit ever not drugs but in smoking okay like, he knows like tricks and stuff in the like cigarettes which like he told me which is like harder okay. to do than vaping because like vaping you can control how much smoke you get but with cigarettes you cannot mm. so like you'd have to inhale that shit until like you'd get like yeah right and then like the right amount of smoke to do like tricks and stuff mm. and he knew how to do those and then like there was a video uh, can I show you? Uh, Rose will show me as I stop the recordings, and maybe we'll talk about it on the next impromptu episode. Um, <laughs> when I upload this, I don't even know if I'm gonna call it Banana Gaming Podcast. I might call it some something else, but let's make that a thing. Let's. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, Rose, oh. like, um, rem- okay. There's a podcast where Rose talks about how she has a big, a big, oh, ooh, a big what? It's a mystery. <laughs> Oops, it's a mystery. Find the episode. It's actually not even really an episode. You should watch that, even though, yeah. Okay, I'm going to press the stop recording button. Bye. Go read my book. It's called The Overwoods. It is awesome. <laughs>